car with a washed and dried Finley, known as Finn. Okay. Or so Finn Finn. We I think a lot of you will find that this area on your dog will grow quicker than anything else and then you worry that they can't see. So we're going to do very show you very simply just how to, if you have a pair of scissors, how to take that hair away. Um, so Finney's now all nicely bathed and dried. Yep, he's certainly spotless. Um, and we will go through his coat to make sure there's no knots in it. Um, but the thing is, stand your dog on the table. And most of the dogs that have been coming to me will actually have their head quite still when you cut them because they're used to it. But if you tell your dog that you're going to be touching their eyes, they know that they're going to, you're going to be moving in that direction so they don't sort of move their head suddenly and freak, okay, out. and freak out. So the area we want to cut, you don't want to cut this area really. Um, with Finney it's different because I put a different style into him, but what we want to be doing is we want to be cutting that area there, okay? Because that will then take the hair that will have grown up that area away. Okay, so we're going with our comb, just gonna brush everything down and just spend a little bit of time making sure that the hair is falling in the place where it naturally grows. There's no point pulling that hair down like that uh, because when you cut, you cut off a chunk. Yes. Thank, thank you, India, but there's no need. Uh, you'll be cutting off hair that actually doesn't need to be cut off. Okay, so. Righty ho. Righty ho. So. You need to cut away from the eye. Okay, I'm just going to get that little dog. Sorry, continuing. Right. Now, obviously, you've got to feel quite confident. Do not do any cutting around the eye area if your dog's head is moving at all. So you really just need to take time. Nothing is rushing when it comes to working around the dog. So I'm going to tell Finney, touch eyes Finney, and I'm going to come in and I'm just going to place my scissors in and cut. Okay, take a little bit at a time. Don't rush it again, because if you rush it, you'll take great big chunks out of it. Okay, so you can see we've created a little V there. And that is made that area of his eye nice and clear to look out of. When you're working on this side, because I'm a lefty, this side's easier for me. Uh, but you want to then come down, okay? You don't want to go up because you're at an you're at an odd angle. Your scissors aren't going so to be so. This opposite eyes. If you're a right hander, yeah. Yeah. So coming down again. Place your scissors. Tell them touch eyes and just come down. Okay. There you are. Right. So Finny has got a little V. Okay, and that helps you see better. Hey. Hey, Finny. Good okay. boy. Right. Thanks for that. So what else are you going to do? Well, sometimes your fringe will have started to grow. That's hanging okay. over a lot of dogs. So again, take time to part the coat so that you know you're not taking too much hair from the back of the head. You're only taking the fringe. Okay. Thank you, India. Lots of commentary from the smallest dog in the pack, always the small ones that have got the most to say. Okay, now Finney doesn't need an awful lot off his head, but if the hair is growing right down, you don't want to just chonk through. You, you can see the corner of the eye. You want to come to the corner of that eye. Sorry, corner of the eye to the other corner of the eye. Okay. So touch eye, Finney. Okay, and then you want to do the same on the other side, corner of the eye, Finny. Sometimes you need to turn your dog around to make sure it's comfortable, Finny said. Okay, just a moment, Lisa. That thing there is the thing making all the noise. You should be ashamed of yourself, India. Okay, so you're not. Okay, back. Right, Finny, turn. Again, comb that section of the hair down and you want to come up to that corner. Cool. Okay. So and that then, then you've got this peak. Peak. Okay. 
So you comb it forward. But again, don't, don't cut too much into it. Otherwise, when the hair goes back, it will look a lot shorter. So bring it forward. Just take a little bit off at a time. There you are. And then when it sits back, it should sit nice and neatly. Okay. Okay, you don't want a mullet head. You don't want it. Yeah. Okay. All done? All done.